Uh, I'm kind of struggling with this one. We're going to go ahead and go for it. Is there a woman here named Gina? Gina. Is that you? Um, okay, hey, bless the Lord. Do you have a son, Gina? You don't. Okay. So uh, this might not be for you, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pray for you. So would you just stand for a moment, please? Okay, Holy Spirit, bring your power and your presence around Gina. So let your goodness be with her, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that one of her motivational gifts is the gift of serving and that you've actually called her to actually be like a refreshment to people. A lot of people come around you, Gina, and when they're around you, you refresh them by how well you serve. And the blessing of the Lord is upon you, and the Lord wants you to know that not only does he hear your prayers, but that you are pleasing in his sight. And a lot of stuff that's been said to you in the past from people uh, is not from the Lord. The Lord is pleased with you, and you, you have been doing what the Lord has called you to do, and God is going to use you as a burden bearer to care for a lot of people with your prayers and by what you say. It's your words that actually refresh them, and you're a blessing to the Lord. So, Lord, bless Gina right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Gina. And then I had one more. Um, you, you guys were visiting with me before the service started, but could you stand, please? Not you, sir, sorry, but your wife. Yeah. Would you just put your hands out and receive a blessing from the Lord? Because as I was saying, the Lord started just sharing some of his heart with me for you. So, Holy Spirit, just release your power and your presence. Uh, your motivational gift is compassion. The Lord uses you a lot through your compassion to actually strengthen a lot of people. And I, and I don't know if you do a lot of crafts or creative things, but God sure has given you that gift that when you do that and you give that to people, it refreshes them. And God wants you to realize he's behind that. And I feel like the Lord wants me to encourage you, don't look at someone else's gifting and believe that what God has given you is insignificant because what he's given you is an incredible blessing to people. It refreshes people, it strengthens them, and by your willingness to serve people, it causes them to rejoice in the goodness of God. And so can we just ask the Lord to bless you over that? So, Father, for your daughter, we ask that you would just strengthen her, this creativity that she uses to bless people. We ask that you would release it right now. And I thank you for your goodness, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to, sorry, I was going to just not do this one, but I, I'm going to go ahead and see if it's the Lord or not. felt like the Lord gave me a gentleman's name, he's Spanish. His name was Carlos Hernandez. Is, is there a Carlos Hernandez or someone that knows someone by that name? Carlos Hernandez. Do you know someone by that name? I'm sorry? That's your stepdad. All right, here's what I had for him. So are you ready? Would you stand? The Lord told me that he has not been shown honor. People have not honored him properly. Does that make any sense to you at all? And the Lord wanted me to point out to him, and you could just share this with him, that there's a leadership gift on his life, and the, that kind of dishonoring is going to stop, and the Lord's going to draw near to him and bless him with the peace and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. So can we pray for him about that? So, Father, for Carlos Hernandez, I ask that you would release your power over him. And this dishonoring that's gone on in his life, we break the power of it right now. And we command the Father's blessing upon him, this leadership gift in his life. We command it to come forth right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thanks. All right, so I went for that one. I'm going to go for the last one, and we'll be done. Is there a person here that actually does work? They live here, but they have some work affiliation in Boston, the city of Boston. Is anyone, anyone in the room? Is that you? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so the Lord actually wanted me to tell you that. <laughs> so isn't this fun to do this? I felt like the Lord was saying that, your efforts towards Boston is specifically in the financial arena, and the Lord was going to actually give you a breakthrough in that arena. Does that make any sense to you? Okay. <laughs> Can we? Okay. So can we pray for you about that? Okay, so stand. 
So Lord, this thing in Boston, this financial breakthrough, this connection that, that she has, we ask that you would open the doors that no man can shut. We ask that the blessing of the Lord would be upon this, and we thank you for what you're going to do.